Ooh. Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Go and today I'm going to show you how to install the new Fork 9 bot Max suspension. I've been wanting some suspension for a very long time now and the mono rim just didn't cut it for me. It just looks terrible on the scooter in my personal opinion. So I wanted to sink a bit more traditional, something fork-like. So I saw it pop up online and I thought I'll buy that and uh, test it so that you guys don't have to. And if you find that you want some of this yourself, um, I, can, I can see if I can order some for you. Uh, we'll see if we can get, gather enough interest first. So what comes in, in the packaging is essentially the, the fork suspension itself. We'll take off the wheel and then put it onto there and then back on the scooter. This will require some stem removal. Also, because it's going to raise the scooter up a little bit, you're going to need a new kickstand. This comes with it as well. A little bit different colour. The it's the thought that counts. And there is a bolt in there as well, so when you pop the fender back in, it goes in just like so. So it come from, uh, from China, there is a few marks and scuffs on it, but I'm not expecting it to be perfect. I can go over that and touch it in and paint it. I'm just glad we have suspension. So let's get started. So at this point, we're actually going to take the brake cable off because we're going to get the whole thing off. There we go. It's going to come out. There we go, so we have the wheel off and we're going to place it inside here. Alright, so we need to get the orientation right. So essentially it's the same as down on the wheel there. You can see this lug here and this bit here. And that's where the brake feeds through. So now we want the wheel with the brake side to go on the brake side. Like so. So we're just going to take off the fender so that we can pop it over there. It's going to help if you've got an extender screwdriver bit because these can get in the way. And there is a five millimeter piece in here. It's just the one bolt. And bolt out. There we go. So at this point we want to put the rear fender back on and we're gonna the longest bit is gonna to go towards the back. So just to show you, I haven't tightened it down yet. The longest bit's coming down the back here. It has four lugs just in there and it corresponds with the plastic and then that will sit in there as well. Let's get that tightened up. So we're just going to pop the wheel back on and make sure that the brake side corresponds with the brake side here. Get that lug in the place. There we go. As I want easy access to the bolts around here, I'm just going to take this one screw out on the end 
You can see that in one of the videos that I previously made. And I'll put that to one side and just get that out of the way so it's nice and free. There we go, so it's now it's a it's free. It's a five millimeter bolt. I'm just gonna unscrew that. So now those two are loosened off, it just takes the clamp away. You don't have to go all the way. And then we're gonna take this main bolt out in the center here. to the side we don't want to make lose any bits and pieces and we're left with that so there is a little pin here holding everything together so we're just going to go ahead and take that out it's a three millimeter hex key and that's just a retaining pin to stop everything coming loose suspension just drops out so there are two essentially washers we're going to keep those put this one to the side and also this one and there we have it our fork is now out so at this point it's essentially putting everything back in reverse so the brake cable, it was always on the right hand side. You can see here, so that's going to go right hand side back. Just going to slot that in. Retaining clip in. Perfect. And now we're going to pop the stem back on. Don't worry about aligning it just yet. So everything is moving. We'll go ahead and tighten the clamp nuts up. We don't want to go too far because we want to adjust the steering column to make sure it's in line. Okay, so 
that's on. We just want to make sure it's in line with the steering. Just line it up on your own. So that being already tightened up and it's straightened up, you can actually see that it's raised the scooter up a little bit. And then to the front there, that's not too bad because it does bounce, which is what it's intended for. Right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the brakes again. So it's just in reverse. Automatically, we've encountered a little problem because the brake cable isn't long enough. So, just had to pull a little bit of extra cable from the top there through down here. And then once we're done, we can pull it back through again just to tighten it up. And this nut goes on first. And that is a 11 millimeter nut. Brilliant. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back on now just to make it a little bit easier. The cylinder so that it has something to grab onto. Pop that through just like so. And then just press the brake so you get the cable to come through. So now we're just adjusting the brake to make sure that we don't hear any sounds in there and it feels nice and firm. Awesome, that's what we want. And then we're gonna get the locking nut on the end there. And just tighten that up. So just a 14 millimeter spanner and an eight millimeter, and we just want to tighten that up to lock it in the place. Done. So now the suspension is on. It's now time to change over the kickstand. I'm going to replace it with this one. You will need some Torx bits to do these and I've already pre-loosened mine off before I started. And this should be a nice simple swap over. And there we go, a nice simple swap over of suspension. Uh, it's actually quite nice to have. 
just waiting to uh, see what they do with the, the rear suspension now. Um, and it does make it a little bit taller, make it a little bit, leans over a little bit more. And the parts are left with the old forks, some nuts and bolts, the old kickstand and the two side bits that are on the side here to make it look pretty. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it and we'll see how it goes. See you in the next one.